All right, shout out to G Money Auto Crushing, man. For, uh, let me know about this one. Yeah, I'll see the title, right? Yeah. 1975 Chevy Cosworth Vega. Will she be saved? Well, I think that's uh, what I was told that she they may have actually got her soul. They were getting ready to crush it. I, I actually have this in one of my videos from a few years ago. When I came out here to make some video, a video of all the old cars this yard has. And uh, <laughs> I think I walked past this car, not really realizing what it was. Of course, the hood was not like, like this, where you could see inside. Now, they, they just did that, I think, uh, in the past few days or whatnot. But that's the. Uh, those, those wheels are actually made in uh, England, if I'm not mistaken. But the uh, cool thing about these cars is that, uh, you know, they're, obviously they're very rare. Uh, we're talking, I think, 3,500 of them. 3,580, no, an eight that were made from 75 and 76. Uh, 70, 76 is even less, I believe. I think there were like 2,000 and something in 75. So 76 is a little more rare. But the cool thing about the 75 is that you could actually get this car in any color you wanted. Well, as long as that color was black. see it right oh yeah 1975 122 cubic inches now, this thing has a, a sticker from 81 man I kind of find it hard that hard to believe that this there's another sticker here but I don't, 81 really you know 75 what's that six years on the road I, I don't know I don't think so but these would have like a stripe the the the, the grills actually in the in the car these things have aluminum bumpers I mean it's a rough car yeah check out the, uh, the old Bondo <laughs> I, uh, plastic filler there and the Brookhaven College, that's uh, one of the local colleges here, if I'm not mistaken, in Dallas. That door won't open, the, uh, the driver's side. Passenger side will, though. I was just talking to uh, one of the guys here, and he said that this car's been here, I think, it's over a decade that it's been in here. Found this in there, it's cool like that, this old shifter. I thought it would go up there, but now it didn't, doesn't fit. I thought maybe somebody had it, you know, installed it on there. It's got the uh, La Virgen de, de Guadalupe. So, I, like I said, I came up here because uh, I was told that it was going to be crushed today. I believe they, is, it, is there an X on it? Oh, yeah, see, they put the X on it to get crushed along like with that. That convertible uh, Cadillac, those uh, Nissans or Datsuns, whatever those are, the uh, 280s. And there's a Cadillac on the other side. There was an Imperial. There's some more uh, Nissans or Datsun 280Zs. Uh, but um, there was also an Imperial, but it was already, it already got crushed this morning. So I was like, hey, you want anything? You need anything? You want to buy some off that car? They're going to crush it. So I was like, well, let me come out and check it out. When I talked to the guy here, he said, "Ah, you know they uh, they have somebody that's probably going that somebody's going to buy the whole thing." So these things were all individually numbered. They had this little plaque here, you know, Cosworth Vega 16 valve engine, dual overhead cam number 611, 611, out of 2,000. Well, for 
I'm actually I'm not sure if that number corresponded to the entire um, run of them or the or for the year. Maybe it's for the year, right? I actually wanted. This is one thing I I wanted. I can't really see it, but that's the tack on it. This tack is specific to this car. The cause worse because it went up to 8,000 RPMs, and the uh, ow, ow, sorry about that. But um, yeah, the other ones, the regular ones, I guess, went up to like only uh, 7,000 RPMs. I believe I'm pretty sure it's a five-speed. I think that's all you can get in them. I thought maybe the seats, but you know, they're pretty rough. That was 110 horsepower from this thing. Look at the engine now. Yeah. Designed by Cosworth, I believe they were all handmade or hand hand, hand assembled. I believe in uh, Lordstown is what I read. Stainless steel, if I'm not mistaken, from what I from what I read as well. I'm at the factory uh, uh, exhaust header. There used to be there's supposed to be like a plaque here. You know, they had the guy's name, the guy who actually assembled it. This was supposed to be the first uh, GM, GM car with the electronic fuel injection. See, they bought this like from an auction, if I'm not mistaken. That old Pepsi bottle or Coke. You could not get power steering, power brakes, or air conditioning in this car because of this, uh, or on the on these Cosworth, from what I read. And I think uh, that may be about it. That I I think they all came with the. Uh, did they all come with? 373s or 410s on the gears, the gear um, in the rear end there, but the, I think the, the posi was optional. So, well, I, maybe something else I'm missing on it, but you know, like I said, it's a rare car, but I think this is the, this kind of epitomizes that old saying of, uh, you know, just because it's rare doesn't mean that it's a, uh, highly sought after or uh, or valuable you know so but from what I heard somebody is going to buy it I'm going to save it from the crusher if not he said he'd let me know you know so well all right people I just thought I'd get this one you know unfortunately I could have got a better I probably could have made a better video of it you know when it still had the the hood wasn't all messed up and was sitting over there but I didn't know that's what it was all right, on to the next one.